Hi, Melissa Reitkup, Reitkup Recruiting. This week's Sips and Quips, Career Cues for You. I want to focus on how we can use stories uh, in the workplace and in our personal lives in a powerful, positive way. And I was reading this very cool thing that CNN's been putting about the good stuff, you know, positive stories, upbeat stories, because I don't know about you, but I've been turning off the news lately. I do like to be informed and I get all my newspapers, but sometimes it's just really a downer. And so I wanted to focus on positive, productive things that we can do in the workplace and in our personal lives. And I remembered this book that I had read a long time ago. I don't know how many of you know, but I've been playing, I used to play soccer, 43 years I played. And there was a book that I loved and it was by the former US head coach, Tony DeChico and Colleen Hacker and Charles Salzburg. Um, Colleen was the team uh, sports psychologist. And the title of the book is a slogan that I just love, catch them being good. I'm gonna say it again, catch them being good. And I used to use it with my kids, with the people I worked with, the people I managed. Um, it's actually harder than you think. And it's a lot harder than to be critical and negative and derogatory or, or chastising people or um, even, you know, as a parent, they say, you know, punishments, I, I don't believe in punishments, but natural consequences. So what I'm going to say to you is think about a potential program or an approach that you could take with your team in your office at home, where you focus on catch them being good. As we enter 2022, I think it couldn't hurt. And I betcha you're going to have some really positive results.